Hi, I bought some RJ Energy LiPo aluminum cased uh, cells and they have M6 bolts. So I'm going to show you some measurements for the M6 bolts and show you some things that I saw online about some creative things other people are doing and then um, maybe discuss some challenges that you may have with those M6 bolts and how to overcome them possibly. And then you could just leave your detailed ideas in my, the comments to help others. So if I measure from the base of the screw, this washer uncompressed to the it, end of this end of the screw, I get this 0 0.2850 inches. If I measure, and this is the standard M6 that came with my 271 hour RJ Energy. Um, if I put this screw in, and this distance from here to here is 0.2465. So they give you a little bit of play in here. Um, they send you the screws separately they're not bound to the to the um, battery and that's what I did I just took a an m6 screw and measured the, the how deep this how deep this hole was now we're going to look at whether the screws that are that come with the uh, the batteries are actually going to be good enough for you well here's a case where I'm using a heavy, uh, an, a heavy um, lug um, FTZ type um, battery terminal, and um, and I've got one um, small um, gauge um, terminal that I'm going to use for a BMS, and as you can see, there's not enough, not very much room. That we're going to have for th uh, screw threads to grip into this hole right here. So um, I think we're going to have trouble. And um, I think we're going to have to figure out how to deal with that trouble. A lot of people in this group, lithium batteries on boat, have RJ energy batteries. So um, there's a guy here, Ross Thompson. Um, he did a really good job of giving, giving me some ideas on what he's done. And this is where he's used a washer and he's used threaded M6 and cut it off and um, just kind of used this configuration here with a shoulder washer. I thought that was a, a great idea. And here's, here's his setup here. Uh, he just has done a really good job in installation and everything. I learned a lot from them. Of course, there's a group here that's um, DIY Solar Forum, which I think you're probably familiar with. Um, one other thing that he mentioned to me uh, that you should um, use some of this uh, this um, this goop. Um, you need to look for some sort of a So here's a case where I'm using a um, flared lug. Um, and you can see that leaves about 0.175 of screw there. That's what I have, 0.175 of screw thread that we get left over. And that's the case where we aren't using a, um, a bar, a bus bar, and we're just using this arrangement with the BMS. Um, so that's 1.75. The problem is uh, we're going to be using this, which takes up about um, 0.16 an inch. This is 0.16 thick here, and it's not going to give us enough room. Now remember that the total uh, depth of the hole is 0.2465 as I measured before. So there's some percentage of that that we need to have our screws 
get you know d dig into and the deeper the better so let's just say our goal is 75 percent of this hole right um, that would be what we really like to get done the other thing that um, is sort of uh, necessary to realize is that if you've got these terminals with really big ring holes you're not going to probably be able to use those too well. This quarter inch uh, one works very well. And um, the other thing is I measured this, these ring terminals here. And these kind of ring terminals take up 0.033 roughly. Uh, so those are all things that we need to consider the bus bars are about uh, 0.09 as you can see there a bus bar and a big using a thick lug is uh, out of the question a bus bar and a BMS lug and a moderately sized flared lug is probably also out of the question. So I had a marine fixture here. I took the bolt out of it and I just put that down in this hole to simulate what we might be able to do. Um, we could use this nut here possibly it's a flatter style nut and screw this down and tighten it and we would get a lot of threads inside of here and then we would then we would have the ability to lock this down of course we'd have to we'd have to shear we'd have to saw off this part right here um, it was also suggested to me that um, we may want to um, put a, a um, shoulder washer here on this and the measurement of that is 0.6325 so it's um, 0.6325 that would be the measurement here and um, the washer and this nut is roughly measuring um, 0.4945. So um, I think that's the direction that I'm going to probably be going. Um, getting a, a longer nut, making sure they're threaded down, and then... Um, I think that's just going to be where we have to go. Leave me some comments if you've had some experience with this.